everyone are you tired of giving all users the same access level on your wordpress website do you want to grant the unique permissions to specific users without compromising your site security well here's the solution creating a custom user role in wordpress by editing capabilities is a fantastic way to tailor access levels for specific users on your site so let's take a look at how to create custom user role in WordPress by editing capabilities. I'm Aparna Singhda from LearnWoo and let's get started. With the default WordPress installed, you can only use the predefined user roles like admin, administrator, subscriber, editor, author and contributor. As before we move to the demo for creating custom roles, it's essential to have a clear understanding of the default user roles as well. Now one of our articles, WordPress user roles, all you need to know provides a detailed explanation of the each role's permissions and limitation. Check out the link mentioned in the description to learn more. Now that was about the default user roles. However, if we take a look, there are several plugins that will help you create custom user roles and assign capabilities in a selective manner. However, for this video, we will be using the user role editor plugin as it is one of the most popular options to customize WordPress user roles. First, you need to install and activate the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new, On the search bar, search user role editor. Once the plugin appears, click install. And once it's installed, click activate. Once the plugin is installed and activated, you can access the plugin settings by going to WordPress dashboard, users, and user role editor. Here you can see different capabilities listed. And on the right side, you can see an add role button. Click the Add Role button to easily create a new user role. When you click the Add Role button, a new model window opens that has options to add a role name and display name to the new role. Along with this, there is a field to specify whether you want to make a copy of any existing role or not. Thus, you can either create a new role from scratch or copy an existing role. For example, if you want to create a guest editor role on your site with all the capabilities of the default editor role, except the capability to delete content, here is how you can do that. For that, simply click add role, give the role name and the display name. Now in the make a copy of option, select editor role. Now this role will have all the features of the default editor role. Once the role is created, open the role by selecting it in the select role and change its capabilities drop down. Now click the granted only checkbox to view all the capabilities assigned to this role. All the capabilities of the particular role will be listed here. For this example scenario, let's simply untick the checkbox for all the delete capabilities. Now once that's done, click the update button. The newly created editor role will have all the capabilities of the default editor role except the right to delete content. Thus this user role will have the capabilities that you have specified. Next, if you are a WooCommerce shop owner and are wondering how that would work for WooCommerce store, then you don't need to worry much because the process is the same for WooCommerce as well. For example, if you want to create a new shop manager role but with no capability to delete, you can follow the same process. Create a new role as a copy of the shop manager role. View its capabilities and remove all the ones associated with deleting content, product data, order or coupon information, etc. 
Once done, click the update button. Now this shop manager role will have all the capabilities of the default shop manager except the right to delete the products and all the other datas. And that's all. This is how you can easily create custom user roles in WordPress by editing capabilities. Do let us know in the comment section if this video was helpful to you. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video.